This is the MEG-1X portable one-man helicopter designed, built and flown by the inventor Eugene M. Bluharoff. The year was 1956 and it is powered by a G8-2 25-pound thrust Bluharoff pressure jet engine. It is a single-bladed backpack helicopter successfully flown and tested. It is has a counterweight to the single blade. And this uh, prototype went on to be a two-bladed backpack helicopter, also successfully test flown in 1956. The okay, one of our skydivers, Rex Pemberton. He made history by becoming the youngest Australian to, to uh, reach the summit of Mount Everest. One year after that, he became the third youngest person in the world, not only in Australia, in the world, to climb the highest mountains of each of the seven continents. That's Mr. Rex Pemberton, he's getting from Australia, currently living at uh, Pine Mountain Lake by Grove, California. He's got uh, over a thousand skydive jumps. And we also, he's going to be joined by senior instructor of Lodi, California, originally from San Mateo, Mr. Ed Plaster, with 11,000 jumps. And we've got David Royer with over 900 jumps from Austria, now living in Redwood City. So these are going to be our skydivers coming down in just a few minutes. Uh, so again, we've got an awful lot of activity planned for you. We'll start happening. It's going to happen fast and furious. We always like it what goes on here on an air show announcing stand to uh, a swan swimming across the lake. They look so graceful and uh, they just blow, glide across the top of the water. Well, underneath the surface of the water, they're paddling like crazy to keep everything happy like it's supposed to be. Well, that's what the same as an announcing stand. We're going to keep everything with smooth and entertaining as we can on the ground for you guys. We're paddling like crazy up here, but you know, we love doing it. Uh, a lot of very, very important people on board with us again today. We've got our FAA representative from the Federal Aviation Administration, Mr. Paul King and his support group. From the Hillary Aviation Museum, we couldn't get by without thanking Mr. Jeff Bass, the CEO of the Hillary Aviation Museum, for leading such a wonderful group of volunteers and staff, uh, such as our education director, Mr. John Wilton. Uh, our show director, our show coordinator, is Willie Turner, who works at the museum uh, all year long. Uh, we'd also like to thank our air boss today, Mr. Jimmy Lichtenstein, who is usually the executive officer.